Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris here again. And today we're going to talk about a, you know, easy-ish way to run locally the Alpaca Laura repo. Huge thanks to the people who created the original Alpaca Laura repository, as well as the folks working to contribute to make that repository awesome. Uh, I basically just very slightly modified the Docker file to run the actual inference engine so that's the gradio container and yeah i'm very excited to show you guys how quick and easy it is to get this set up and running and uh and and rocking along so first things first um you know you can clone the original repository located here and add a docker file i've cloned it and added a docker file that will just basically run the uh generate.py which is the gradio inference application you just pull this down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. So I will grab the SSH address. We'll head to the terminal and we'll do the old git clone. We'll clone into the repo. Once we've cloned into the repo, we're good to head into it using CD. So we'll just go alpaca Laura here. Once we're in, we'll see that we have everything that we need. In order to build a container, all we have to do is use the following command. As you can see, we're just asking Docker to build and tag the Docker file that's present in our present working directory. So let's go ahead and run this. Now we can run it. The command to run it is a little bit more complex. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so now that we're ready to run this, since we've built the image, we're gonna use the Docker run command. We'll use this dash dash GPUs equal all flag to indicate to Docker that we want to use the NVIDIA container runtime. So that way it can use our GPU. We'll map our ports so that this is exposed on the same port as it would be if we were running this on our local machine. We have to specify this volume. You don't have to worry about to, that too much so long as it's pointing to your dot cache. And we want to use the dash dash RM flag to remove the container after it's finished running instead of letting it hang out, you know, you, basically this is just Docker maintenance. Then we're going to provide the tag that we built our image with and we can press go. You could use some other flags to change how this works. So you could use dash D to run this in detached mode, but for at least this demo, we do want to see it running. And now that it's done, and this is what it looks like when it's done, we can actually head over back to our browser to that's right, a Gradio app that's running our Alpaca Laura. So let's just give it a prompt. As you can see, this works similar to other applications that use this kind of format. So we have both our instruction box as well as our input box. So one of the advantages of running this locally, obviously, is that we have the ability to fiddle with all of the knobs and dials. If we look at the original repo, we can actually see that we get basically similar performance to the Stanford Alpaca model, as well as the DaVinci 003 model from OpenAI. And this is all made possible through this low rank adaption or LoRa. I really suggest reading the paper, which I'll link in the description, but basically this is a way to get us decent quality with a lot less hardware. Back to our Alpaca application, let's give it a slightly more difficult prompt and see how it performs. So as you can see, I've given it the task of uh, classically, you know, hey, calculate the nth Fibonacci number, and it's given us the classic recursive solution. I wonder if we could have it do something even more complex, so let's try that now. Okay, so we've asked it to perform an optimization using Python's built-ins and it, you know, performs swimmingly. It gives us a, a modification to the code that we already had and it optimizes it exactly as you'd expect. So again, huge shout out to the folks that were able to produce this. It's incredible. It runs very quickly locally and you don't have to have crazy, crazy hardware. I'm running this on a 4090, but you absolutely don't need that. This is the kind of dream, right? We have these crazy, awesome closed sourced tools and now we're able to 
run locally these open source versions that are still fantastic, still great at what they're supposed to do. And I look forward to building with this in the future. So thanks so much to the people again who created the repo, who did all of this work. If you want to check them out, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.